Hey guys, welcome back to Nino Cooney, and um, I'm Callie from the Great Great White North. Um, so last time we went through this woods, and we're gonna go see the Guardian now. And uh, yes, I did save. <laughs> so off we go through this tunnel. I'm sure the Guardian must be here, because here's the star. I don't hear anything Oliver or Drippy because um, my sound on my TV is all the way down and I don't have a filter yet for our microphone, so I hear none of this. <laughs> so I'm always guessing whether, like, if there's any speech during these parts, if it's done. I wish you guys could feel this. The rumble is, like, fucking nearly shaking my whole body. Oh, he's a little, like, he's cute. He's just having a hard day. Oh, let's see here. Let's go me today. Let's try Fireball. That seemed to be effective. So I think we'll, we'll try that some more. Nope, not healing, please. Fireball. Can we get that, uh... Oh my god, leave me alone. It was nice that they taught me how to guard on this one. I totally forgot about defending. As you can see, you can also kind of tell when he may, um, may attack, and then you can try and time it so that the defend will, uh, it's really hard to, uh, talk and, and try and do this battle. Um, so then, since there's a little timer on everything, so, like, the attack, there's a timer. For the, um, defend, there's a timer. So like that. That little blue circle. Oh my god, please, please, please. Oh my god, that was close. Um, so you have, like, timeouts for things. Oh, you can mechanic. This guardian actually wasn't that hard. Stop that! Grab this thingy. How do I grab it? There we go. He was in the way. <laughs> he was just so much in the way. Maybe uh, I shouldn't have uh, done that right in front of him. Oh well. Burning heart, my friends! This is a pretty cool move. And it doesn't use any MP, so that's good for me. Holy fucking shit, I think that was overkill. Oh my god, I killed it! Oh my god, I'm gonna cry all over you, monster. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna freaking cry right now. We leveled up, but was it truly worth it to kill such a majestic- I got a, a spirit of the woods. I murdered him. I took his fucking orb of souls. Holy frick. <laughs> Apparently we learned sandblast. <laughs> like a fucking sand true. Oh. Well, I will have to show you guys that. Looks like if we defeat things like this, we may get pages to the book. Yeah, like, what made him go like that? Okay, you can't always blame things on this guy, like, Mr. Drippy. <laughs> Maybe you needed to just talk to the Guardian. Maybe he, like, had a bad breakup with his Guardian girlfriend. Oh, 
So we obtained a new tale. Um, I think in a separate separate video, I will maybe read that stuff out loud to you guys. That would be kind of cool, don't you think? Yeah, no, no, I'm not taking your opinions. I'm sorry. I was looking for. But first, a gift. My way of thanks. You are on a roll, by your man. I entrust to you one of my closest companions, the Telling Stone. His knowledge of our world arrives even my own. I thought he might help you on your journey. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, he will tell you anything you wish to know. And the other thing, the locket. This is what you came here for, is it not? It is a vessel for fragments of the human heart. To rescue the heartbroken, you will need the locket and the spells required to use it. I will give you those as well. Thank you so much, Old Father Oak. Hmm. Such a well-mannered child. Unlike some I could mention. What? I... All right, all right. Ta, Buckface! Hmm. Some things are as unchanging as the forest. No matter. You had best be on your way. Now, boy, you must come and see me from time to time, and tell me of your travels. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Let's be off, shall we? Time to head back to Ding Dong Dell and mend a broken heart. Okay. What the hell is a telling stone? <laughs> and what the hell is a locket gonna do? Ah, uh, take heart spell. Give heart spell. Those are important. Let's go have a look about the tell telling stone. So it does a bunch of things. Let's see. Life lessons is the tutorials. Uh, creature compendium. All the creatures we've come across. Oh, so fucking cute. Look at that fucking piece of shit. Look at this shit. So then you can also see their attributes here. So he was good against wind, but not fire. Good thing I had fire on my side. Oh, you can see them by habitat. By species. I can't put nothing in there by genus. Oh my god. Okay, the telling stone's pretty great so far. Dangerous places, so you can see where you can fight different kinds of monsters, I guess, and have a look around here. Um, it also will tell you how many red, blue, green, and purple chests and what percentage you explored. We did not explore everything. You can see that there is some area we missed, but that's fine. We're going to come back to this place eventually. Our progress report. Anyone wants to translate that? I'm going to try and 100% the game, I think. Let's look in the locket. Looks like there's different things to put in the locket. Well, there's not much we can do. We need to go help Ding Dong Bell so we can um, get inside. So let's head out again. Goodbye, Mr. Duckface. But um, what I meant by I'm not taking opinions is that I can't. Because <laughs> I'm kind of recording these ahead of time. Um, since I'm kind of in a position of being able... Am I going the right way? Shut up, Mr. Drippy. Yeah, fucking piece of shit. Um, I have time right now due to some um, problems with uh, my job. Let's touch this, get some fill up. I know I'm already full, but I don't give a fuck. Um, can I do anything with this yet? Nope, okay. Um, so I have some time now to record, so instead of waiting to see what you guys think, I'm just gonna keep going for a bit. Get up. Holy shit, what's that big fucking thing over there? Do you guys see this shit? It's so big. Eventually, we'll probably have to fight that thing, but not today. Not today, Satan! But we will fight this little thing. Oh my god, it's cute! Let's go. I have a problem. I think you all know that I have a problem. Here 
Oh, that wasn't too hard. That was a really easy, cute fight. But anyway, so as I was trying to say, because I'm so scattered brained, um, I have the time now to do this. And um, it's kind of my way of trying to contribute to the household. Um, just to make it easier on Michael to. Um, get videos out since he is usually the setup and I usually just am the entertainment in a way um, because I'm really not technological I have a really hard time sometimes um, processing what I should be doing so like I set it up today and I was like I think I broke it <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I just usually don't do that stuff. Michael's the one that really got into this first and really wanted to learn how to do the recording and the editing and he's really good at that stuff so I just never thought to myself that I should learn how to do that um, to help him like I want to and that's why we're doing this so that I can be better for um, our channel for you guys. And mostly it's, mostly it is for Michael. <laughs> Just to make it easier on him. He still has to do all the editing. But that's, I can't edit. Fuck. I can't do nothing. But I want to hear what you guys think of this game. And I'm really excited to see what you guys think. Um, like, have you guys played this game? I'm sure you have. Because I looked at my last save data and I played it back in 2013. So I'm sure that's when it came out. God, that feels really long away, but, like, so far gone. Am I even going in the right fucking direction? Maybe I should head more over this way. Oh, there's the hill we were on. Oh, for fuck's sakes. He missed. He fucking missed. Did you, did everyone else see that? The, oh, oh, no, shit. Fuck. Got stuck on the hill. <laughs> It's okay, these guys are so cute because they're eating their own tails! Does anyone else find that adorable? Like how they eat their own fucking tails? Or is that just me? Am I just crazy? I just think that's a fucking adorable. Down for the count. Well, at least when we get to Ding Dong Dell, we'll have money. <laughs> we'll slowly but surely, we'll have money to spend. So I think that spot will always spawn, which um, makes this a lot easier for us. Um, I was going to also, before I forget, um, last time we, or earlier, we got to level 5. So we can now equip Sandblast, which... Blinding a single enemy. Okay, cool. So there we go. Thought I should do that before I fucking forget. And, he oh, I guess I'm not alone. Teddy's here and he's all like, I'm cold. He shouldn't be. I have, like, the heat's on. He should be fine. Right, baby? You're just sleepy. We've been up since four, so that might be also why I'm scatterbrained. Looks like he's still the worst for wear, huh? Mr. Drippy, we have to help him. Right, though, Ollie boy, I better explain how it's done then, innit? First thing you'll need to do is to take the locket Treeface gave you and fill it with the piece of heart our friend is missing. Uh, the piece of heart? That's right. One of the bits we're all made up of deep down. The bits we're made up of? I don't understand. Hmm, how can I put it? Ah, just give it a go. You'll soon work it out, man. First off, what that guard's missing is a drop of good old-fashioned enthusiasm. Uh, Find some and give it to him, and he'll uh, be right as rain. Okay, but where do I find enthusiasm? Well, now, feast your eyes on that other guard but there. He's got more get-up-and-go than a sack of squirrels. If he hasn't got some enthusiasm to spare, I'm a monkey's uncle. Ask nicely, and I'm sure he'll give you a lend of it. Sure, I'll try my best. So this is the mechanic of the game. So we have the guard that isn't being very enthusiastic about his job, so he's not opening the gate. But we have the one beside him that is. 
So we're going to ask him to steal some of his enthusiasm from his heart. See, this is why he can't open it. They need to agree, I guess. What a fucking dumb system. So, battle spells, all spells. Let's do everyday spells. So we're going to go to do Take Heart. Tidy! Looks like you got yourself a locket full of enthusiasm. Now, you just got to give it to our friend over by there. Okay, here goes. So now we must give him the heart. Hello, sir. Now we're going to give heart. There we go. So now you guys had seen this when I had gone through it just a couple minutes ago. So this was enthusiasm, the distilled spirit of get up and go, and we're going to share it. Here you go, sir. Beautiful! It worked! Neato! Uh, tidy! Looks like he's back in the land of the living! What's happening? Where am I? Well, 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 you're back with us, I see. Yes, I, I feel so strange, as if a weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel better. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I was worried about you. I'm sorry, I wasn't myself. But I'm back now, and ready to work harder than ever. Well then, these fine people have all come to visit our great kingdom. I think we'd better let them in. Indeed we had. <laughs> this way, everybody. There we are. So now we've solved his problem. He looks a lot better. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck's a merit stamp? Nope. The Cat King's Castle. Oh my god, it's like a bell, like a ding dong. You get it? No? Okay. <laughs> it's cute. We should head to the palace, that is correct. So, there's another one of these things. Hmm. So you can see here we have an inn. There's some other different shops. and But we're supposed to go to the castle. Which I don't disagree with. But, I would really like to get that merit card eventually. But let's go on ahead uh, to the castle. Let's fulfill our duties. Turned out nice again, didn't it, Chuck? Jeepers. It's so different. Stop staring, man, it's rude. But look at those goofy clothes. Goofy? Are you blind? You are the goofy one around these parts. Huh? Yeah, look at his funny clothes. Oh, Stop it huh? now. Why does so goofy so really look so strange? So strange. Crikey! We better get you a new outfit before they put you in the zoo! Come on, Ollie boy! Uh, okay. Makes me wonder why the guards didn't question us. Just looked at us, said thanks, and that was it. Guess they were too grateful.
seems like our objective has changed. So, we're not gonna go see the king right now. We should look presentable when we go meet a king. So, let's go to the clothes shop. Oh my lord. Oh, we gotta get a better look at this lady. The, this... Hold on. We're gonna get it. We're gonna do this. Oh... Oh my god, I can't tell if I love her or not. She's so tiny, she's standing on a chair. I'm crying. <laughs> she's adorable. Oh my god, she is an owl. She's Hootenanny. This game. Special clothes. Guess we're not seeing the king today. I mean, you can't really go see a king with just your ordinary clothes. You should look like you fucking belong, at least. This seems to be bird-themed here, but their ruler was named a cat king, so... Does he eat his own people? I have questions. Swift solutions. Alright. Sure, I wanted to go there anyway, so that works for me. Actually, it's not that far away. Perfect. It's good thing this is a small fucking town. I can guess I have to go inside. Hello, sir. With your bird hat. Task- oh my god, the bird hat moves when he talks. So this is where we're going to get our side quests. Or errands as they call them. <laughs> You really want to do these tasks, it makes your life a lot easier, you get some cool shit from them. And it's kind of fun to see different stories, so we're going to probably end up doing all of these as possible. Also, bounty hunts. Well, I guess I can't even go exploring as myself. We need our, uh, our new clothes. Well, let's check out this journal, though. Journal. So now you can see now all the story stuff we've done. Here's our errands and bounty hunts. They have two different tabs. Oh, there's a show all option. And we have one stamp card. Actually, we should look at our stamp card. So then you can buy different things. So now we can jump if we can get one card and uh, run faster on the hills. Yes, please, if we need that. 
So these are all the different things we can get. There's a bunch of them. We're gonna try and get them all. We're gonna gonna work hard, guys. But I think it's time for bed. I mean, this has been a long fucking journey. I've been crying my eyes out all day. So, oh, and one more thing. This is the board. So these are all the quests you can do. And how many stamps you'll get. Wait, did I get those? Did I pick those up? Did I have to select them or did I just have to... Big questions. There you go, just had to check the board and we got three quests, but we can't do them until we get clothes apparently. So, no running around naked around here. So, off to the cat's cradle. Did anyone else play cat's cradle as a kid? I did and then I totally forgot how to do it. This is a cool side street. And it's the right way to go, so perfect. Are those- what are these? They look like eggplants. Lady, what are these? Fresh fruit. Kind of fruit. <laughs> Maybe a plum? Anyway, <laughs> we should go to sleep. I can't tell fruit apart, so I think it's time for a fucking nap. Uh, don't look at me. Going to sleep. Is she a cat now? Oh my gosh, she's got a cat face! Beautiful. Also, I see shiny, so... Don't mind me, lady, I'm just gonna steal this cake from this vase. Don't look at me. So let's stay here. Ten guilders! Is, is that your currency? Ten gold? So it looks like staying at inns will fill out the pages as well. Great. Oliver? Oliver? Huh? Mom? Mom! You've done so well to make it this far, Oliver. Mom? Is this... a dream? You must listen to me now, Oliver. You have to go to him, to face him. And when you do, you'll learn the truth. Promise me, no matter how hard it is. Him? Mom, who's him? Mom, what do you mean? He's someone very important to both of us. But who is he? And where do I have to go? It's all right, sweetie. You're already on your way. Don't give up, Oliver. No matter how hard it gets. Mom? Mom! Mom! Just want to stab me more in the heart now, don't you? They're really making you feel bad about his mom's death. Like, I feel extremely fucking- No, I don't want to save my fucking progress. Leave me alone. <sighs> like, I feel so bad about his mom's death. Would you guys be able to live- Oh, more shinies. Live without your moms in your lives. Does everyone have a good relationship like Oliver did with his mom? I know some people don't, and it's a hard subject to talk about. Personally, I have my own issues with my own family. Ain't that fun. We should actually cross here. Hold. Hold the phone. Hold. My life is complete. We, we, we don't have to go any further. This is it. Fucking cat lady. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy. There's a fucking cat lady. Oh my god. We're done here. This this is my life is complete. We no longer need to live. The LP is over. <laughs>
We found Cat Lady. That's all that mattered to me. All right, Owl Lady. I like that I can't be creative with their names. It's just Cat Lady, Owl Lady. <gasps> Oliver, you're going to look so good. I'll just pop. I'm scared. What if she blows up and turns into an actual owl? What does that mean, I'll just pop? That's not a complete sentence. Ooh, looking good, Oliver. Very nice. He actually looks like he belongs here now. And not like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Capes are cool. Shut your mouth, Oliver. Aw, oh, what a nice old lady. I will try my best, but I don't know. Traveler's clothes. Perfect. So now we can go meet the king. Whoop. But uh, we're going to stop here for today. Next time, we will um, meet the king. Um, and I... You know what? Let's go see. What do you sell, an old lady? Bye. Oh, she sells provisions and treats. Well, fuck me. Anyhow, so next time we'll go see the king. Bye.